Hi everyone, welcome back to another gameplay of PTD5. Um, let's continue with the tower guide series. Today I'm gonna talk about ice towers. Um, so let's go to tower information uh, to see the upgrades in specific and the paths. So um, for the first path, the first upgrade is gonna be uh, a larger area, so an increase in the range. Uh, that is gonna freeze the blooms for longer, all right? So an increase in the range and in the freezing time. Then second upgrade is gonna be um, when the blooms are, are um, freeze, they're gonna get popped. So one layer is gonna pop off, okay? Each time the blooms are gonna get frozen, so uh, yeah. Third upgrade is gonna be a super cold aura that is gonna slow very very uh high so a very uh a great slow to all the blooms in its radius and the right and the range also is gonna uh, get a lot bigger with this upgrade and then final upgrade for the first path is gonna be uh the frozen blooms are gonna freeze other blooms if they are clo enough uh, close to each other okay that's pretty much it um okay so for the second path instead the first upgrade is going to be uh that the balloons after um thawing out okay so after they're not frozen anymore they're going to move slowly for a period of time um second upgrade is going to be that the freeze is going to affect two layers so um of course uh that is mean that means that even if the external layer is popped the um, the other layer is going to make the balloon to move slowly because of this okay because of permafrost uh both of the layers are gonna uh, slow down the balloon okay third upgrade um when frozen balloons are popped in any way or another uh shards are gonna fly out of uh, this balloon and uh, these shards do um damage to all the blooms in the area of explosion so it's pretty much like a little explosion so after a frozen bloom pops uh there's gonna be this area of um damage that these shards are gonna do okay and then last upgrade is gonna be as always an activated ability and it's gonna freeze all the blooms on screen temporarily and uh, this uh, ability uh, on mob class blooms is gonna slow okay so it's not gonna freeze but it's gonna slow mobs uh, bfbs and zomegads of course uh, it's gonna slow uh, the zomegads for less time than bfbs and bfbs are gonna get slowed for less time than mobs all right so that's all there is to know about the ice towers in theory but let's go to the gameplay as always and uh, uh, let's comment uh, about the uh, ice towers. So ice towers are towers that are not um, used a lot. Um, um, but And I'm going to tell you why. Because this tower has many weaknesses and uh, can be used and is really strong only in some specific setups okay so talking about the cost this tower is gonna cost 300 cash uh in medium so uh, it's one of those towers that you can use to start off the game uh the range as you see is gonna be pretty little and that is why ice towers pretty much like uh stack shooters ice towers excel if you place them in uh, u-turn corners like this one right here or right here or also in you can place them in 90 degrees turns pretty much like this okay or uh, also like here um, so that's one uh, negative thing you know about those towers and then the other uh, pretty bad thing is that uh, you can't choose if the ice tower is gonna you know freeze the first balloon or the second balloon or that stuff or anything like that because the ice tower like exactly the attack shooter is gonna permanently uh, is gonna have an attack speed 
all right and it's gonna uh, slow the balloons and it's gonna freeze the balloons um, every time the, the this attack speed is gonna proc so as you see the balloons enter that's the attack speed and as you see all the balloons in the area are gonna get frozen but you can already tell by now the main weakness of this tower this tower zero zero it can't pop layers so it's only gonna freeze the balloons but then the balloons are gonna just continue like nothing and uh, yeah so that's that's one of the main weaknesses of this tower the fact that you need to get the second upgrade in the first path snap freeze to start popping the layers of the balloons uh, after you uh, you have freezing them you know and the other weakness of this tower is that black um, um white balloons and uh, zebras are immune to uh free to freeze so uh ice towers can pop uh um white balloons and zebras and that is also another very big weakness uh, in using only ice towers if you use only ice towers and uh, that is because there is no way that you can pop a white balloon and uh, zebra balloons in any case with any of the upgrades um, even with uh, the 2-3 upgrade so with um, uh, the shards you know flying out um, like for example for the bomb you could use the frags of the bombs to pop the layers of black blues or zebras so you had a minimum a chance of popping their their layers the ice towers are not gonna have that so uh yeah that's gonna be it so uh white blues and zebras are gonna be impossible to pop for these towers and uh, even with all the upgrades you know and uh, yeah unlikely for example the bomb the 4-0 upgrade make uh, makes the bomb the tower able to pop black balloons and uh, uh, white balloons and the uh, zebras instead in this case for the ice tower uh, it's not gonna be that so as you see uh, you have to wait all this time to get the 2-0 upgrade so you can start popping off these layers and that's why I don't recommend uh, using ice towers to start off the rounds you know um, there are so many other good towers to pop the balloons in the first rounds but now as you see I'm start to popping these balloons with snap freeze and as you see the balloons are frozen and they're popped and I can pop only one layer and as you see the attack speed so the amount of times that this ice tower attacks and freezes the balloons is not so high so uh, yeah when there are a lot of balloons especially when there are a lot of fast balloons uh, you're gonna be able to slow them only very later and uh, they're gonna pass almost unharmed so that's that's why ice towers you know by themselves they're not good like for example these greens see i could only pop three of them so uh yeah that's pretty much it and uh i just want to get here this upgrade so i'm only in round seven now and i have lost already almost 90 lives and i got only a nice tower too too so uh yeah pretty pretty bad here and uh the problem is not like group blooms because the um the piercing in terms of how many blooms this ice tower can freeze is unlimited as soon as you know as long as all the blooms are in range of the ice tower so it doesn't matter if like 40 blooms are all here very close to each other they're all gonna get frozen the problem is when the balloons are fast or when the balloons are separated, you know, uh, the ice tower is going to attack the first and the second one that was outside the range of the tower is going to just go a lot more forward after the tower attacks again and the freeze it, freezes it. So, yeah, um, 
uh, without further ado, I'm gonna just here, uh, otherwise I'm gonna lose here very fast. I just want to use an injection to show you the last upgrades and um, to show you a quick technique and uh, that you can use for ice towers. Okay, so uh, let's get an injection so we can discuss better with the upgrades. So, uh, as you see, even with the increases in range increases, um, the range of the tower is not so great. And talking about the cost of the upgrades, the first two uh, upgrades, I'm gonna just place another ice tower here. Uh, see, they're not so costly, 225 and 400 for snap freeze. And for the second path, 100 and 350. But for, from the third upgrades on, the cost become a lot higher. So for example, for the three to upgrade, the area, the aura that is gonna slow, greatly slows all the blooms in the area, is gonna be 6.5K. And for ice shards, it's gonna be 2K. Um, and I always recommend placing two ice towers, pretty much like have uh, placed them right here and get the tower more, the closer tower to the to where the balloons are gonna come to get it a two three and instead the tower that is further from when the balloons are gonna come to get it three two as you see the three top grade the range is a lot greater see now this range is uh, very big so um it's gonna start slowing the balloons i don't know if you can if you can see it but from the range of the here is gonna start slowing the balloons from this point here that is exactly from where this ice tower is also gonna start proccing the shards see that is almost the same so let's check out this round i'm gonna just show you how it's gonna work so first the balloons are gonna get slowed see and then they're gonna get frozen by this tower um the, the pro because this ice tower this ice tower here is not only gonna slow but also is gonna attack like normally uh, freezing the balloons you know and if the balloons are are fr are frozen and this ice tower frozes them too uh, the shards are gonna pop okay so the balloons needs to be frozen and then to get popped by this ice tower to proc the shards uh, you can see you can't see the shards a lot uh, when the balloons are separated like this, but at the end of this round where the balloons are very close to each other, you're gonna be able to see it. So watch this now. See, all those blues got frozen and then got frozen again from this tower and this tower propped the shards and the shards popped all the balloons that were uh, together. So this is the best combination you can get for ice towers are getting a 3 2 ice tower and a 2 3 ice tower pretty much like i've described and you can pop uh, everything and the slow also is going to be very good against very fast blooms like pinks or yellows for example see these yellows they're going to get so slow that i'm going to have all the time that i want to freeze them and to proc the shards especially this combination is pretty powerful against ceramics for example, against the ceramic rushes in round 63 or 76 or 78. Uh, that's very good. And also these ice towers are good against after you can pop a mob. Uh, each mob has four ceramics that are pretty close to each other. So after you pop the mob layer, then you can uh, pop the ceramics using the shards and therefore damaging a lot of uh, the balloons. And uh, yeah, so another weakness of the ice towers is that they're not gonna be able to attack the mobs. So they're not gonna do any damage to the mobs and this ice tower is not gonna slow the mobs. So uh, ice towers can't in any way uh, be useful to pop mob layers. And that's also another uh, cons, you know, of this tower. Now, um, yeah, the white blooms now, no, wait, no. Not in this round, but probably in the next one. The black, white blooms are gonna come. And this is the other weakness of this tower. They can't in any way pop these white blooms. See? 
they're just passing passing by and uh, there is actually no way even with uh, the last upgrades even with everything uh you can pop not only white blooms but also zebras and that's the main uh reason why these towers alone are pretty bad and i don't recommend ever to use these towers alone uh always run at least another um another tower and also that uh, the ice towers can't detect camo and can't pop camo so that's also another weakness uh, th thankfully they have the ability to pop lead because by themselves by the fact that they they freeze the balloons see that also the zebras are uh, immune to uh, to the ice towers so that yeah that's that's why these towers are not so great but I'm gonna show you now the lead le the lead the rounds so even if the leads are, uh, you know, uh, with metal, I don't know why, uh, by which interaction, but ice towers can pop leads. So uh, they have lead uh, popping power. See? And uh, yeah, that's pretty much, that's pretty much it. Um, for these towers, I don't think there is any other thing to cover. I just want to show you the last upgrade for both of them. So I'm trying here to survive to get uh, the 6K upgrade, final upgrade. So I don't have to use an injection. Yeah, but the zebras, yeah, the zebras are just gonna kill me now. And this, so Okay, uh, I'm gonna, um, uh, yeah, I'm gonna have to just pop them with this. Oh yeah, I can pop the zebra layers and then the, they can pop the other ones. Yeah, I didn't thought about that. Okay, so the last upgrade for the ice tower, the first path is gonna be 6K uh, cash. So it's gonna be cheaper than the, th than the third upgrade. Oh, come on. Oh, I can't. Yeah, I couldn't pop the the white layers. So sad. Okay. So this means so that the viral frost. So as soon as one balloon is frozen and the other balloons are close, half close to the first one, all the balloons are gonna get frozen like in a line, even if they're outside the range of the tower. And that's exceptionally good, especially when you have other two, three ice towers, because this tower is gonna proc the frozen to like all a line of balloons, even if they're outside the range of the tower. And this ice tower is gonna proc the shards. And uh, so that's even more popping power. I'm gonna just show you the, the, um, the active of the tower, the two, four tower. As you see, it can pop uh, camo. So you can't freeze and slow camo balloons, but uh, in any way you can detect them, so you can pop them. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm gonna just show you again here. Uh, for all the normal balloons, you're gonna freeze them. Instead for... Uh, um, for all the other kinds of balloons uh, you're gonna just for the mob class balloons you're gonna uh, only slow them okay and that's pretty much all there is to know about these towers and uh, yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this guide and see ya bye bye